Lee, bruh, what a goddamn be, bruh. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, with the remix to let you know what the energies are surrounding you. Yes, indeed, for mid May 2019, May the 15th through the 31st. What is going on, my loves? You know, you know, I missed you, baby. What's going on, baby? Yes, indeed. All right. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Thank you so much for clicking this video and showing me some love. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing this video. If there is anyone who would like to book a reading with Scorpio Red Tetra, all you got to do is click that About tab, okay? First thing you need to do is book and then link, all right? Book and then link. So click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tetra at Simply Book Me again. Says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Once you book the reading, only thing you have to do is double back to that about page and link up with me. So you have two options here. There is a link for my Instagram directly under the booking link. You can click that link and send me a personal message and say, Hey Reds, this is so and so. I'll book with you at this time. So on that date and time, we can connect at that. Uh, you know location and we can do our video chat if you don't have Instagram or you prefer not to use your Instagram you have the option of downloading an application called Google Hangouts and all you need to do is use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com send me a message with the same information hey Reds we got an appointment on this and this and that a date and we will hook up right there now if you order um, the add-on, which is a video recap, which is basically me recording the whole experience, um, uploading it to YouTube and sending you a private link on either your Instagram or Google Hangout um, application for you to view after our session. Or you can use that add-on um, for a direct upload to YouTube if you decide to opt out of the video chat. I don't recommend it. You know, because I feel like it's better to have a face-to-face -face interaction. However, if you don't feel comfortable to get on camera, I totally understand that. What you need to do, book and then link. And then send me, when you send me your message, um, so I can send you your video link back there, just send me your questions, okay? So, whatever reading that you book, tell me what you want to know without stating the situation around it you know because I don't want y'all to say well I just told you that so make sure that you only tell me what you want to know so I can pick up on directly what energy wants me to know revolving you in that situation and then we can go from there okay so if there's anyone who would like to send love and light to the page um I want to give a shout out to my baby girl Callie she used the um Amazon wish list and she purchased this deck for us so we can have a numerology read so shout out to my girl Callie and listen um I had a private reading with her and that's <laughs> that's my damn dog you understand but let me just tell you how amazing she is she just hit me up and said, Reds, you like Game of Thrones? I said, yeah, I love Game of Thrones. She said, check out this this deck. You like this deck? Honey, she just ordered us for all of our Game of Thrones fans. My girl, Callie, the one that hooked us up with this deck here, Numerology, she also hooked us up with a freaking Game of Thrones deck. So shout out to my baby, Callie, because she is showing big love and light to the Scorpion Reds Tarot page. And I'm trying to tell you, I cannot wait to see Aria and Cersei <laughs> on this table. I am so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. I cannot wait till this deck gets here. Y'all have no I freaking did. Shout out to my baby girl, Callie. Thank you so much for all the love and support. If you want to send some love and support, and also to everyone, listen, everyone that be sending a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, y'all are the reason why y'all be getting these tea readings. So everyone that has sent any type of donation to the PayPal, shout out to y'all because all the, the tea readings that y'all love y'all are the ones that made this possible so shout out to all of y'all and thank you so much to every single person who has donated and has sent love because it goes right back into this page and all these wonderful decks here that you see before you are all because of you and i thank you even this camcorder that i'm recording on is because of y'all's love and support thank you so so much i cannot thank you enough shout out to all of y'all so let's get into the reading and again if you want to send some support the amazon wish list and the paypal information is in the description and in the about tab all right 
So, thank you so, 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 so very much, Father God, for bringing us here for my Libras. Because you know what it be, bruh. Come on. Let me get a little sippy, sip of some water. Hold on. Let me purify myself. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Listen. Father God, we are just taking through the city right now. We in the city. We in the city. Father, we NASCAR driving through the city, Father. Listen. <laughs> we NASCAR driving through the city, Father. Let me try to tell you something. I just feel like, you know, it's spring. We're feeling good. We're really feeling in our element. You know, we're just like, you know, slick as a fox. I just, I don't know. We just, I don't know why I'm just feeling like I want to kind of like, you know, <laughs> Swerve on them. I don't know what y'all swerving on them. <laughs> I'm about to call this y'all swerve on them. Hold up. <laughs> Lee, fuck it, bruh. Y'all already goddamn know what it be. Hey, look. I already got y'all title. Swerve on them. Mm mm. I already know what this is about to be about. Father God, give us some guidance. Because we swerving. We NASCAR driving. We NASCAR driving through the city because we looking pretty. Give the Libra. Give my Libras guidance about how we swerving through the city. And how not to get pulled over. You know what I'm saying? Because we too cute to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to get popped. You know what I'm saying? We, don't, we ain't trying to you know, have all that smoke going on. Father God, please give Libra guidance for mid-May the 15th through the 30th. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Father God, please give us guidance for my beautiful, my loving Libras. Thank you so much. What are our spirit numbers for my May? Y'all swerving, honey. What? Hold on. What was that song? Wasn't it like Lil PC and um, Webby had a song called Swerve? Oh, man. Anyway, that's just show how old I am. Ooh. Your number is 96. Switching up that 69. <laughs> forgiveness. Okay? We need to focus on forgiveness. And then you could swerve on them. Okay? So, you know, what this is right here, this is the throat chakra. This blue right here is the sh throat chakra. And in the center of that is that crown chakra. That's understanding. Okay? Being able to speak with understanding so that you could be clear. And not only that, but just really honestly able to look at situations for what it is. And forgiving people, not for them but for you so that you could swerve. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you know what? I learned. Thank you for Teaching me what I needed to know, you know, like I, I learned a lesson with this situation. Respect, swerve. I forget you. I ain't even tripping on you. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Swerve. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta forgive them to leave them where they at so they can deal with their business because we move them forward, you know? You gotta forgive them just because that's the best thing for you to leave them with their energy and skirt, okay? <laughs> swerve, okay? Why I'm finna swerve right? Oh, what is that song? It's a oh anyway. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, poor tank. Oh, poor tank. Oh, poor tank. Poor tank. <laughs> poor tank. Oh, Libra. Poor tank. What you do to poor tank? <laughs> Libra, you ain't beat nobody up, is you, Libra? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Libra said, yeah, because this motherfucker broke my heart, but it's okay because I pulled them motherfucker swords out, bitch. I'm healing, okay? My heart's still bleeding a little bit, but bitch, I done pulled them swords out. I ain't got time to do you, okay? I'm not going to like, I ain't never knew you, honey. I'm over that heartbreak, bitch. You can't even do nothing. You can't hurt me no more, bitch. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, nigga. What? Let me go. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Now, Libra, now, now, Libra, you know I love you, baby. Now, you know I love you. But y'all trying to put me to work today like that, really? You know what? Let me close this door. Because I see I'm going to need, I'm going to need, you know what? I'm going to need me a moment. Hold on, because y'all really trying to do today. Come on, Libra. Libra. Did y'all really just do me like that? It was like, no, because you need to understand. Because you need to understand, Rez. You need to understand. <laughs> Listen. 
Libra's like, listen, baby, I see you're over there healing and you're all disgruntled and you're feeling some type of way. Tink, tink. Let me come over there and put a rose on you all. Oh, because you're dead to me, Tink. You're dead to me, little tinkers. You little stinker. You're dead to me. Oh, let me go ahead and pay my respects. You know what I'm saying, little Tink? You so dead to me that I forgive you for everything that you did. Because you ain't even on my mind no more. Like, you mean nothing. Nathan, Nathaniel, Nansford, Nada. Okay. No. Mm -mm. But you know what, Tink, Tink? Tink, Tink. Um, I be trying to be a good person. And I be trying to let God move through me. But, you know, sometimes I be having to revert back to my cold, icy side. Because, you know, I am, you know, an air sign. You know, and, and, and you know. I was going to let you rest and shit, but you know, I got to wake you up real quick. Get your motherfucking ass up, Tank. Motherfucker. Because you know what? Don't think that I ain't just about to motherfucking cuss you out. So, you know what? This is... <laughs> This is like somebody sleeping, trying to get their rest, trying to get their heel on, and you come over trying to act like, oh, I'm about to pay my respects. I'm about to get your fucking ass up, you bitch ass motherfucker. You done broke my heart, and you thought you was going to come through this motherfucker and, 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 and wreck and destroy shit, bitch. Fuck you, you bitch. Just know that, yeah, I'm pulling these motherfucking swords out my heart, motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. You ain't nothing but a piece of fucking trash, nigga. You crunchy butt, motherfucker. Can't eat a motherfucking grape off a goddamn salad bar, bitch, you nasty mother. You don't even know how to eat a motherfucking fruit salad, you nasty bitch. You stupid bitch. <laughs> Like, bitch, you thought you was motherfucking doing shit out there. You thought you was tossing salad. You couldn't eat a break, a grape off a salad bar. You couldn't, you couldn't have none of my fruit. You can't have nothing even if you wanted it. You don't even know what to do with it, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? You super dead to me, nigga. I done buried you and I just threw motherfucking dirt on. I'm just done. Look. Look, look, I ain't even gonna act like a motherfucker don't trigger me from time to time. Listen, I'm still healing. I'm still feeling. I'm still reeling. I'm still reeling it in. I'm still reeling it in. But bitch, let me just let you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you super dead to me. But this is someone like, this is like Libra. <laughs> This is like Libra going to go pay her respects and then looking at the motherfucking like you stupid black motherfucking bitch. <laughs> Your mama's a bitch. Your father's a bitch. That's why you're laying there looking like a dried up fucking bitch. You fucking. <laughs> like, like people in the fucking funeral home. Like, um, Libra, what's going on? This motherfucker broke my heart. Fuck that motherfucker. You over there hitting a the nigga with the flower. <laughs> Look this. <laughs> you hitting the motherfucker. <laughs> you jumping on top of the casket trying to punch the casket. Fuck this motherfucker. You know how much pain this bitch put me through. Fuck that bitch. Like <laughs> they like you know what Libra. Let me can, can we take the body and carry him off? No. <laughs> like you knock the casket over Libra. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all like that motherfucker was a trifling, stanky bitch. A motherfucker, drunk, alcoholic, stank ass motherfucker got on my nerves. I don't know why I stayed with him so long. I was bored to fucking death. Your sex was weak, nigga. Your motherfucking conversation was weak, nigga. You go on a job, your paycheck was weak, nigga. You was just a weak nigga. <laughs> 
I carried this burden for too long. I don't even know why the fuck I did with you the way that I did, bitch. You wasn't worth it, bitch. Okay, that's why I had to sit you down. That's why I'm on the ground. That's why I ain't around. Okay, that's why I'm looking fat like Judy Brown. Okay, fuck you, bitch. Okay, I'm tired. I'm tired, but I ain't expired. I'm tired, but I ain't inspired. Nigga, you just done. You just done. All right. All right. Nigga. Nigga. <laughs> What is coming over me right now? What is coming over me right now? Why y'all clowning right now? Why y'all? Why y'all won't just let this person be in peace and rest? Like, why y'all wanna knock over the cash, kid Libra? You just like, no, I forgive him. I forgive him. But before we leave, bitch. <laughs> fucking pigeon toe short fucking snap turtleneck looking ass gilla gorilla motherfucking gilligan lost on the island head ass looking bitch you ain't never motherfucker offer me nothing from the beginning i had to go and search and search and search and search and search go look and find why i spending all this time with you and ain't nothing coming about and i'm going over there and i'm looking and i'm seeing you over there working on something with somebody else and shit like that and you trying to tell me we needed counseling bitch i don't need no motherfucking counseling i know my god bitch i know my foundation bitch i know how i was raised bitch how the fuck was you raised bitch okay you a whole ass scam out here you a whole ass con out here in the streets you all out here in the streets acting like you got money, huh? You acting like you got honey, huh? You act like you want it, huh? You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. You ain't nothing. You ain't gonna be nothing. Fuck, nigga. Okay, out here walking around with fake-ass leather pants and shit. Fake-ass jewelry on. You a fake-ass bitch-ass nigga, ain't you, bitch? Yes, she is. Don't try to tell me we need to work something out and go to church. I don't need to work nothing out with you in the church, bitch. Leave me the fuck alone, you bitch-ass, hoe-ass nigga. You could motherfucking think straight even if a nigga actually picked up the crown for you and gave it to you bitch you ain't even got your motherfucker sword in your hand nigga you got two crowns you only one's from party city and one is the actual real thing and you sitting over there with a big fake ass party city goddamn crown in your hand you ain't even got your sword you don't even got you ain't even got your th you don't even know what you want you ain't even got your thoughts in your hand you understand? You ain't even got your tool in your hand, bitch. You're stupid. Look at the real crown down there, bitch. You're stupid. Okay? You're stupid. That just shows how smart she is. You ain't even got your sword in your hand. You're dumb. You're dumb. Okay? I did love you. I ain't gonna lie. I did love you. I thought this was, you know, some twin flame shit. But, you know, I realized that that twin flame shit is some bullshit. Because, you know what? I'm guarded and you guarded. And we both just sitting here looking like some two guarded stupid fools. And guess what? I ain't about to stand here with you, bitch. I'm leaving. Okay? Because guess what? You ain't got your sword in, my, in your hand. But, bitch, I got one in mine. And I'm using it to cut you off and um <clears throat> grab hold to my new beginnings, bitch. Okay? Because guess, guess what? Um, I'm in my element, and you was irrelevant. Uh, I'm in my element. <laughs> I'm in my element, and you was irrelevant. Okay, bitch, I got my sword in my hand. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what I am. I know where I'm going, and I know who and who is not going to be in my life, and you bitch is one of them. Bye-bye. Okay. I forgive you. Bye. Um, okay, Libra. That's a nice way to forgive somebody. That's a, you know what, Libra, I, you know, that's a, that, that is a nice way to forget somebody, Libra. You know, you just let it all off. You just let it all off your chest. Now, didn't you, Libra? You just, you really put it to right. You did. And, and, and listen, you ended it with you being. <laughs> you said that you was in your element and they was irrelevant. Uh, yeah, I said, you said y'all was standing there guarded looking like two plucked head fools. And neither one of y'all trust, neither one of y'all just looking like two idiots, huh? Okay. Okay. Two people in love, don't trust each other, got it. Standing there looking like two idiots. He said, no, I'm good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm holding my truth, and you and you don't even know how to pick yours up. And you got a party city crown on. Okay? Are you the true Arthur? 
Can you really pull the motherfucking sword out of the stone, bitch? Mm, I don't think you're the one supposed to be sitting on that throne, bitch. You ain't the real one. Mm-mm. Nope. I told you you was fraud from the door. Mm. <laughs> I told you you was fraud from the store. Mm-hmm. From the Party City store, honey. You was a joke. You was a plaything, but boy. Yeah. Okay, I, I I don't want nothing more to do with this spread up here with Libra because you had a whole lot to say. And you 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 really wanted to play today, Libra, clearly. And I'm almost scared to go any further into this spread with y'all. I really am. Because y'all on y'all goddamn this right now. Y'all is on y'all goddamn this right now. I don't, I don't. See, that's, you know what? Mm-mm. Yeah, y'all's really in y'all element. These hoes is irrelevant. Swerve. Okay. What? Okay. Libra. Tell you, give me some guidance for Libra. <laughs> Mid May. Give me guidance for my Libras, please. Please help me, Jesus. Jesus. It said Violet Duchess stiffle board and stuff. I talk. I did not tell y'all Libras. <laughs> Oh, in the name of you. But you're cute as shit. Look at you, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Look at you. You real fancy, though. But you do look bored as shit, girl. You do look bored. I like your hair, girl. You look real fancy, though. Ooh. Ooh. You. Ooh. Girl. Give me some guidance. Why is Libra all sitting over here looking on? Why is Libra giving me all of this? What's going on, girl? What is going on with you, honey? Bunches of oats. What is truly going on with you, baby? Okay, let's see what's going on. Give me guidance. Give me guidance behind this violet duchess. I feel like after she done bored, she didn't forget this person. She bored because it's just like I don't got nobody to beef with no more. <laughs> <laughs> you said just expectations. It's just like I'm just sitting back waiting, just seeing what the fuck. This is like, ugh. It's manifesting. Main female. Mm hmm. I feel like y'all just sitting back, just expecting. Just like, when am I going to have someone for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, when am I going to have someone that's going to choose me? kind of thing it's like you're bored you the thief card you feel like whoever this person is that you left stole a lot of so a lot of your vitality and your time and stuff like that like you know this whole situation just stole a lot of time from you and i don't feel like you seen it or even realized it you know what i'm saying because i feel like it was like a, a certain level of like infatuation you know what I'm saying? Where it was like a whole lot of time was lost and you felt like this person stole like maybe the best years of your life. Yeah, for it all to just end so suddenly. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you just bored. And then you just like, all right, it's over. I forgave this person. What now? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's next? Ain't nothing happening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only thing I know is my I have my truth and but I still see that that three of swords is still in the upright. So oh okay, so we got thoughts just popped out. Hold on. Okay. Thoughts just popped out. So that thoughts to me is like I feel like you ex okay. So this I take this as like you're manifesting. You see what I'm saying? Like how this woman is kind of looking out the window, longing, manifesting. And you see how this person is thinking hard and they're drawing this perfect picture of what their life is. So I feel like that's what you're doing. It's like you just feel bored because nothing is popping off right now. You know, cuss this motherfucker out. You know, gave him his or her. You know, whoever this person is, it don't matter if, you know, this could be a, a, a female Libra or a male Libra just, like, being fucking done. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like, now you're just manifesting and you just want clarify these thoughts. Clarify these thoughts, please. Oh. Um, yeah, you're thinking about, like, when you're going to be gifted with your new beginnings because, you know... With death 
comes new beginnings. So it's just like, when is my new beginnings coming? When am I going to be gifted with this new foundation? Yeah. And yeah, because it's like, it's that 21 gun salute. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, you just want to be honored. Like, you want a gift of honor. You want a gift of celebration. You want a gift of like, being put on a higher plateau of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ready to be honored and put on a higher plateau and being gifted a true honor of everything that you've been manifesting and you've been dreaming of. And I just feel like it's just been taking a long time and it's like it's been putting you in a bout of despair, you know? Because you want the gift of high honor. Possibly like even a financial promotion as well. Like y'all might be waiting on um, being gifted or finding out that you've been rewarded with a high honor position at your job. And I feel like y'all might be about to despair over that. Because um, I feel like you guys have been manifesting a new life for you, period. But a lot of this has to do with relationship. You just... You want someone that is going to love you and honor you and only you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, it's just taking you. Because you see how it says not hiring back there? You just feel like <laughs> no one is hiring at the moment for like a true commitment, a companion on that level. Give me guidance in the for Libra. Oh, I just ordered these new, like, heart-shaped love decks again. Thank you guys for all of your um, donations to the page. So, I ordered this new. So, um, like I said, baby girl, um, Callie, she's sending the Game of Thrones deck. And then I have another love deck that's coming. Because, like I said, my Dorian Virtue deck is burnt out, honey. And I've been looking for... Um, like new like love oracle decks and stuff like that so it's like these heart shaped cards um yeah i told y'all y'all still suffering from this heartbreak and that's the reason why like your new direction isn't coming as fast as you wanted to yeah and forgiveness in the reverse but it's turned around material world is popping off but it's like you're still having a hard time forgiving because you're still going through the process of getting all your chakras aligned and healing but it's like, it's like, I feel, and that's why I'm like, it's telling you forgiveness because it's like, you come in like you kind of paying respects to the situation, but it's like paying respects to the situation triggers you to go all the way to fuck off on a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like you went all the way to fuck off Libra. Like Libra. Yeah. yeah and you, and you got this barrier up. That's, but it's like, you want this offer. And it's like someone is going to offer you something, but it's like you got this barrier up. And it's like you want to know, is anyone ever going to offer something to me? Yes, but you got this barrier up. How is someone going to get to you? You know? You feel what I'm saying? So listen, you want this new beginnings, but it's just delayed in getting here. And it's because like you're not fully healed. Like I told you, you, your heart is still broken you understand what i'm saying yes you pulled the swords out and you threw them away but it's like your heart is like kind of still seeping it's like bleeding like you might need to go to a doctor and see if they can stitch up the wound instead of you just taking like a old fucking t-shirt and, and and trying to apply pressure and you know like you try to you know patch this shit up yourself or feel like you know that shit is still seeping you might need to you know What's that? What's it called? Reiki or just like some type of my fuck that. I mean, shit. Y'all don't even need. Y'all don't even need to do all that. Self love, self love. Y'all don't need to be paying and do all that Reiki and all these spiritual healers and all man. And fuck all that shit. Listen, self love cure all of that shit. God and self love cure all of that shit. Go to take you some money. Cause listen, your material world is good. That was in the upright. Your material world is good. Go to the damn spa. Go get your nails done. 
Go get your toes done. Go get your eyebrows done. If you do them little lashes and all that shit, get all that stuff done. But go and get you one of them mud baths and them seaweed wraps. I'm talking about do the whole thing. Like when they got the strawberries and the champagne. And if you want to, just do this shit by yourself so you're not distracted by none of your friends talking to you about they fuck shit and they goddamn problem. Go by your motherfucking self. You understand what I'm saying? And just... Like, fall asleep, just drift off and just clear your mind all the way and let them massage your temples and everything. And then you got your little mud bath and the seaweed wrap and you feel all fucking soft and luxury, luxurious and shit. You know what I'm saying? You spend a little coin on yourself towards your new beginning and your healing to kind of help at least get you in line a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And like, do that more for yourself because it'll take you out of this place of despair. We because you're not sitting back there with expectations looking out the window waiting for something to come to you. You are out enjoying your life so that it can come to you. That's how you heal yourself. Y'all need to don't listen to all these stupid ass people. Yeah, I can help heal you. I can do all this shit. I can cut cords. Man, fuck that shit. You cut your own goddamn cord. You understand what I'm saying? And I told y'all, listen. I ain't here for the hustle. I'm not here for the hustle. I'm here. This is a fucking uh, healing release program. This is a healing release program right here. You understand what I'm saying? The power is within you truly. You have to really want change and be active towards your healing. You know what I'm saying? If you want to stay trapped in mental thoughts of this heartbreak and you want to keep feeding the wound and shit like that, then that's up to you. But I'm here to help heal and release you because I want you to go back out in the wild and wow. You understand what I'm saying? Go get him, girl. Go get him, boy. Sorry, let me stop. Because <laughs> right now, what you're not doing is like the whole point of this reading is about forgiveness because you really don't forgive this person. You really, really don't. This person has did too much, and I get it. I fucking get it. I ain't saying. That I don't get it. I get it. But it's like it's not you forgiving them for them. It's you forgiving them for you. Because it's like we need. Look we ready to pop pussy in motherfuckers. <laughs> look the summer is a coming honey. Baby. Listen. We li listen to me. Linda. Do I need to call your crazy ass sister Belinda on the phone? Because you know she's going to talk to you ghetto. She's going to be talking to you with the hand claps. Belinda's going to be like, look, Linda, bitch, we got shit to do this motherfucker summer, bitch. You're going to have to let this shit go because I'm trying to tell you, you ain't going to motherfucker Miami with me. I ain't listening to this shit the whole motherfucker ride down there, bitch. So, look, what you doing? What you doing? Girl, is you getting your money together? Okay, you got your money to get. Okay, good. Did you forgive this nigga? Because I'm trying to tell this. I, Linda, I'm not doing this. Girl, I'm not. Mama, come on, baby. Come and get in the Mercedes. Don't be crazy, girl. Forgive this motherfucker and let's go on with our motherfucking life. Bitch, we got motherfucking. We got shit to do this summer, girl. We ain't got time for this shit. Look. If you need to put a barrier up with that motherfucker, unfollow that bitch on all social medias. Block that bitch so you can't see him and he can't see you or she vice versa. You already get me. You get me? Delete the motherfucking text message thread. Delete all of the pictures. Just delete. Clear everything out of your life so you don't see it no more. So you, it's no way for you to focus on it. And if you got kids, that's fine. You can still put a barrier up. Y'all can talk to each other through text message only when it necessary. And if you need to put a barrier and block this mother for a couple of months to get your mind together. Just because sometimes people just need to... Need a time to breathe. Like even when you got kids with people and stuff like that. It's just I just I need to disappear and not deal with you for a little bit. Maybe to get my thoughts on my mind together so I could come back and maybe we can have an adult conversation. Cause like right now I'm not even gonna lie, like I am too immature to discuss this with you at this level because I'm gonna go the fuck off. I need to work on some things. I need to work on forgiving you on some things. Right now, it's not a healthy time for so. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting this barrier up. But it's for the best. You know what I'm saying? If you need to say something to me, or if you want to see the kids or whatever, just text me. And let's just only talk about that. Because I really want to have a level of respect here. 
You know, and that's and, and listen, that is literally communicating. Communicating that you understand the, right now your, your crown chakra is understanding. It helps you with healing personal losses and grief. Getting your mind together. You know, it's not about you forgiving this person because I don't feel what the fuck I need to forgive them for for you, my love. Because if you really, you want somebody to offer you something you ask and you've been looking out the window like, God, I want somebody for me. I want someone to, you know, hold me in high honor, high regards. I want to paint this perfect picture. I want this new direction in my life. You know, after this death of this relationship, I want this. I want my life. L -l 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 am I going to get it? Yes. But you have to clear your table so that you are able to receive the offer. Do you get me? Yes, this motherfucker coming. I told you we popping pussy all motherfucking goddamn 2019. Bitch, this our year. Without fear. Be clear. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please be clear. Please be clear. Oh, behave. We shall not. Oh, behave. We the fuck shall not this summer. Okay? But like your girlfriend talk, like Belinda said, bitch, you not coming on no trip with me no with no baggage. She's like, listen, you not coming, you not coming on with me like this. You not doing it. Please get your mind together, girl. Shit. And nobody wanna hear that heartbroken ass shit. Girl, we trying to pop some pussy. Have fun this motherfucker summer. Bitch, it's springtime. We're taking a month. Girl, this is month. No panty sundress season. Don't do me. Listen, but nobody got time to be sent there crying over no fuck shit. Girl, get over that shit. Look, we good. Will of Fortune. I just said we good. Will of Fortune. Are you listening to Belinda? Girl. Belinda, what else you got to say, mama? Belinda. Belinda. Look, she said get over that shit. Get over thinking of that shit. That shit is done. That shit is done. It's dumb. Okay, girl, that shit ain't getting us nowhere. Look, you crying over this King of Cups, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, girl, what? Did you hear about what was going on with him in the streets lately? Girl, you might want to go look at his reading, girl. Uh-uh, you don't want none of that. Girl, five of wands, you don't want none of that fight, honey. You don't want none of that fight, baby. You better go look at that King of Cups reading. You better go look at that motherfucking Cancer reading. You better go look at that motherfucking Scorpio reading. You better look at that motherfucking Pisces reading, girl. Girl. You don't want none of that. You don't want that. No. Kingfish. Kingfish. Oh, no, this is a Pisces. Yeah, this is someone's Pisces. This is someone's Pisces here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is Mr. Lava Lava. He got a whole bunch of tattoos on his neck and everything like that. He tat 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 it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's a mess. Yeah, he did a lot. But you know, I feel like he getting his shit together and shit like that. But at the end of the day, like this motherfucker did way too much, honey. He did way too much. There's no more room in your back for this person to stab you in your back no more, girl. Get over that shit. Especially when we got good fortune. I told you we going, but listen, we, we taking trips this summer. We ain't got time for this shit. And we damn sure ain't got no time to be arguing, competing for no fuck, nigga. Girl, we ain't got it to do. We do not. And we're not doing that shit. Because if, listen, you start beefing with this nigga again, girl, you going to be beefing forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Don't know. Listen, and if you're going back over there messing with that nigga doing that shit, girl, don't call me. Don't call me. Listen, don't call me. And I'm trying to tell you, don't call me if you get to start messing up with him because you're not going with. You're not going with the. Listen, you're not going with the BBC crew on our, on our excursions this summer. You know what the BBC? The ball and bitch committee, bitch. What? Okay. Billionaire, billionaire bitch committee, okay? Listen, you could go on back over there to that third party bullshit if you want to. You already know that King of Cups got all the motherfucking bitches. You already know what the T is with this person. So you can go on back over there and, you know, put another battle in. Put your foot back in the motherfucker pot if you want to. He going to spin the wheel. Just listen. You see this car? He going to spin the wheel. See which goddamn person and fall on to see who the fuck he going to give his dick to for that day. And then when you motherfucking come back crying to him. Like, oh, he fucking went to his face. Girl, don't call me. Don't call me. You already know what you doing, girl. Don't even. um. We got too much good shit on the table, girl. We got too much shit on the table. 
Stop thinking about him. That's a fight that you don't want. And you know this person is a cheater. You know that. Girl. Let me get some more on him. No. Yeah. Since we talking. Clarify this. Belinda, what you saying? The Ace of Wands. The Page of Swords. Yeah. It's... Okay. So listen. Y'all want to find out what the T is? Okay. This person been spying on you. Because you, 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 <laughs> you not bothered. You are not bothered. This person wants to send you a. This this look like the this look like the four of cups with this four of coins. This part okay, yes 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 okay. So listen, this is it. You have a lot of good fortune coming to you. A lot of good fortune to you. You're getting over this heartbreak because I'm trying to tell you your family and your friends are making you get over this shit. They're making you get over this shit. They're tired of hearing you crying about this shit. They got shit that they want to do this fucking summer with you and they don't want to hear about your fucking bag. They tired. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but you tired of this shit. This King of Cups, this Pisces, this Cancer or the Scorpio ain't shit and you know what? I don't give a fuck if he's in the upright or not. This person still don't know how to show you your their emotions to you. So it's like, what's the point of sitting up there dealing with someone where you can't Constantly competing with somebody and it feels like it is you're going to be competing forever it's going to be a battle that you're going to be competing forever with multiple different bitches this person just spins the motherfucking wheel and figure out what bitch is going to land on the dick today you understand what i'm saying so at the end of the day it's no point of you keep stressing yourself about thoughts about this person or wanting to go back to this person in any way shape or fast shape form or fashion so and to let you know, this person still has two or three different bras that he's talking to currently. And this person is sitting right here on this tree. You know, I'm looking at this as the the four cups. Because you know the four cups is like someone wanting to give an offer. But they feel like it's being rejected. So, I'm mixing these two cards up as well. Because as well, this 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 also shows that this person is still holding on to you. And they're holding themselves back to give you an offer because, number one, they out here still on that Playboy shit. They still out here on that Playboy shit. And if you go back into the situation, it's going to be another goddamn battle that you're going to be stuck in forever trying to figure out how to get yourself out of it. And this person still don't know how to show their emotions, so this shit don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? This person got too many options around them to... to, to you know what I'm saying? How 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 can you have this many people around you and know adequately how you feel? And this person ain't giving nothing to none of them. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just fun to them. This person is holding itself back because honestly, this person has a level of insecurity about themselves and they're scared of rejection. So you know, like true rejection. So they just have a whole bunch of bitches that they just play around with, and you see that the 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 their heart in that ring is is stuck in this tree trunk. You know what I'm saying? Look, and there's a fire down at the bottom of it, and the key to the heart is so. Look, you see everything, and and that's like probably the secret that they're holding back from from people. It's like only thing they really care about is money and what people can give to them without them giving anything everything that they have that they could give is locked inside of the sacred tree or something that they're holding on to that they're trying to keep secret it's not inside of them it's in, you know what i'm saying i don't know if i'm making sense but it's like the thought of marriage the thought of someone having the keys to their heart It's in this tree that's fully grown, but you see a fire down at the bottom of bones with fire. That bone, the bones with fire to me represent many people that were burned before trying to get to that 
this was many people before that was burned trying to reach that key trying to get to that heart trying to get to that ring you see what i'm saying but you see the bones of all of the people that this person has burned before while they holding themselves back not really offering nothing being stingy but have all of these other people that they you know that they just listen oh yeah and this person has been spying on you this person has been Hiding their emotions, hiding their feelings, and hiding the fact that they can't and will offer love in the keys of their heart. They have it. It's just not inside them. They're not using it for whatever reason. But they are most definitely like spying on you. They're spying on you while they're still going around playing around with other people. And what they see is that you have a new beginning here. Like... Something that you about to make last forever. Now you in despair. This person doesn't know you in despair. You in despair because you just like, you know, what you really wishing and hoping for. You don't see it because that's like you got to change your thinking. That's because you're in despair. How you want to expect something to come to you and you in despair instead of going out there having fun and allowing it to come to you. You worrying about it too much. Go out there and enjoy life and get the hell out of that window. You know what I'm saying? Being Mr. Window and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, you know, this person is trying to get over you emotionally because they see that you got over them emotionally. And it's good. You got over them emotionally. And it's like they need to get over it. You... I'm recording. This person isn't happy. And not only that, because this person still has a lot of secrets that they're holding. And that they know if they come to you with the fact that they still have all these women going on in the background that you're not going to accept them. They know that. Their intuition is telling them that. And their intuition is also telling them that it's a lot of things. You see this wolf here? Like, it's just like this is a crying wolf or something like that. Right. I feel like they're like oh, an angry wolf almost crying to the moon. And it's like the moon sees them. The moon sees them and the moon is like, well, what do you have to say for your actions? Like, have you learned anything? Because this person is unhappy and this person is trying to get over the heartache and grief. Because they see that you started new beginnings. But this, the moon is asking them, well, what did you learn during this, during this phase of your life? And... And it seems like this person is trying to sober up now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person is realizing the damage that they've done with this four clubs. They realize that you're not going to accept them. And that you are a little bit, you're more aware about your self-worth. Like you're just not going to, I feel like you love yourself too much. Like you, this person realizes that you love yourself too much. And you see how beautiful she is? You know, it's always like you're paying more attention to yourself. You're nurturing yourself. You know how beautiful you are. You know about the secrets that's going on with this person. You know that this person hasn't changed. You can feel it. You know it. It doesn't matter if this person is like holding back and not showing emotions and shit. You just simply know by energy. And that's something that you've come to learn and accept. And you forgive this person. Because this person isn't going to be anything more than what the fuck they are. They have shown you this shit ten times over. I feel like it's nothing, it's nothing more to... You know what I'm saying? It's nothing more to, to expect or want here. It's, it's, you know? You just got to forgive this person for just... You just got to forgive this person. They are just who they are. And you just got to move on. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys might be looking at this person too. It might be you that might be stalking and looking on that. And you seeing all of this stuff like that, and it might anger you, and it triggers you, but you know, it's like you gotta stop looking at this shit, and you gotta move on, and stop looking at this shit, cause this person ain't shit. Like what you expect him to be, a pretty piece of shit. He just ain't shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like. 
Focus on your life. Focus on bringing the fun and the joy into your life. And then you won't be bored. Yeah, you're going to be bored if you want some more acrimony and shit. You stalking looking at somebody else. Fucking with all these different bitches and shit like that. You're not doing... You're letting your life pass you by by looking at somebody else and focus on what they're doing. And you're not forgiving them. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's about prosperity, good health, and abundance. You might be seeing a lot of green at this time. Listen, and right now it's about goddamn survival. Time about it's about time. It's a time about being a shark. It's about survival right now. We gotta go out here. We gotta go and get it. And I know that came out in the reverse, but I'm not reading that shit in reverse. Because I'm telling you, it's time of survival. It's time to use your force. It's time to use that hammer, and it's time to use your force and move forward. Force yourself to get past this point and forgive this person and release it so that you can move on and find happiness what is this yes yellow confidence success happiness and optimism all right and that was in reverse but i'm not putting it in reverse because we are going to use force to bring that into our life green and yellow prosperity good health and abundance confidence success happiness optimism yes it is time about survival it is time to use that hammer and use force and to force ourselves to make these transitions rainbow renewal it is time of renewal and happiness pearl listen hidden knowledge you've been gifted a pearl you've been you wanted the gift this is what spirit is gifting you with the hidden knowledge, and you have to learn and accept and learn how to use the hidden knowledge first before God will give you the gift, the gift of love. It's about self-love, loving yourself, learning the gifts, learning the true message and the true point of this journey that you just went through. Forgiving this person so that we can move to the next chapter. Okay? Forgive this person. God forgive them for they not know what they do. You don't have to hold on to that. Violet, intuitive, spiritual, self-aware. Forgive them. Because if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't even be seeing these colors of the rainbow that you're seeing, baby. You are a unicorn. You are a unique, special creature. And it's because of this idiot. Because you'd have still been the same person you was last year. You ain't even the same no more, are you? You're not. So if it was not for the fact that you experienced all of this shit, you would not be able to stand here today. Right now you are going, you are like the survival of the fittest. You are a shark out here. Okay? You a shark in the water, honey. You will show my motherfuckers how to survive. Survival of the fittest. Alright? And, and it ain't over. You still gotta use your force. It's time to keep moving and keep hammering away, honey. With confidence, success, happiness, and optimism. Renewal, rainbow, pearl. You have the hidden knowledge. Violet, intuitive, self-aware, spiritual. Self-love. Honey, that's all blessings down there on that table. Listen, you got your world in, the, in your hand. You are balanced. You got your magic stick, honey. You are powerful. You are something that I ain't never seen in this world before. And you is submitting and leaving that old bullshit in the past. And you will move on forward into your true destiny, baby. Don't you dare worry. Forgive this person and give him happiness. Okay? Stop kneeling in front of that cup. Worrying about who he fucking, what he doing, what she doing, what they doing. Who cares? You got two strong options sitting behind you. You got to get your ass up and realize that you are blessed and highly favored, honey. Listen to me. While you are resting and healing, that old shit is slowly being burnt to cinders. Every day that you rest and you heal and you get your mind together to really work on forgiveness and realizing the true blessings that came out of this lesson, that whole situation in your mind is slowly being burnt to cinders. And when you wake up, you're going to wake up and be like, damn, I ain't even think about this motherfucker today. And it's going to trip you out. Once you stop kneeling. Stop kneeling. You don't kneel, bend, shake or fold for no fucking body. Do you understand right now? This is your moment of truth and of clarity. You have crowned yourself knowing good and goddamn well. That it's a fresh brand new renewal. Where you're going through with your crown on your head. Self-aware. Self-motivated. 
knowing how to cut shit out that don't serve you, knowing your truth, knowing how to honor yourself, truly, truly, truly. I understand that there's troubled waters right now, and it's most definitely a rough emotional time. But you got two decisions. You can go over here and go towards the light, or you can come over here and you can stay in that troubled water and stay in the darkness. You can keep that blindfold on and act like you don't know what I'm talking about, but y'all know what I'm talking about. These are thoughts. It's about getting your thoughts together. And that is the whole thing that Belinda was saying. It's about your thoughts. Cleaning your thoughts up. If you still keep resentment and anger and all of that stuff in your heart for this person. How do you think that you're going to be able to move forward for these things that you're waiting for? God's just going to let you move forward into a new palace with yesterday's trash. You better use that fourth, That force. Use that hammer. Okay. You a shark in the water. It's about survival. Last spread, my Libras. Ow! Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. Someone's still watching you. Someone's still watching you. So here go the Page of Wands. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like, mm. hmm, so this person from your past, they just, like, they don't, they don't, not with anyone, they don't have any intentions of being in, a, in anyone's life for good like they're very immature you understand what i'm saying they like to start situations like this is what they do to women they'll go and they'll get really intrigued by someone and then they'll get really excited and then right after they have sex like probably immediately after or maybe like a week or two weeks after like after it's just not new it just seems like all right we didn't did this a couple of times or whatever then they off to the next thing like they don't have any intentions to be with anyone for the long term i feel like this person is a fucking to a womanizer the only thing that they focus on is penetration you know what I'm saying? And if you go back to this person, if you deal with this person, this is the burden that you're going to have to bear. This person is always online looking for new booty. And this is just something that you just need to get in your mind. You need to be aware of it. You need to let it settle in, sink in. And you need to understand that this is this person's nature. Forgive this person and let it go. You know what I'm saying? Stop kneeling at that. Stop, stop kneeling worrying about that shit. That shit, that shit is not... Let that be the next bitch's problem. Listen, stop taking your time to heal and let this shit go and making this be the end. It's like you almost don't want this to end. Cut this motherfucker off. You see the blade is, is up right now. Use it and cut this shit off for good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the more and more that you don't forgive is the more and more that you're dragging yourself down when you can have this ten of pentacles. Do you understand what I'm saying? A smooth, strong, healthy, and loving foundation. You want somebody that's going to love you like this, baby. You hear me? Not somebody that's going to be in and out that just want to fucking and dip off. That's somebody that's going to give you herpes, baby. You do not want that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, go out there and enjoy yourself. Like, seriously, with this Three of Cups, go out there and enjoy yourself. Go out, celebrate, put your nice clothes on and stuff like that. And you might find some enjoyment out there. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You never know. And it's not even that you really got to go out there and find nothing serious. Just go and, you know, go out. Have fun. <laughs> go out. Have fun. Like, stop. Crying and focusing and worrying about this. Like this, this is not benefiting you nowhere. And this is what is this? The Eight of Pentacles. It's just like, I feel like the more and more that you focus on this situation in the past, it gets in the way of your money. Because it's like, the more and more you focused on this shit in the past, 
you take your focus off of your money and your true foundation and everything that you're working for, it it's like completely contradictory to everything that you're working towards. So you have to work more on trying to truly forgive this person and going out and having fun so that you can bring in the true blessings and the true gift that God is trying to give you and that you've been sitting in that window praying for. But it's like you can't get it because you won't end focusing on this nigga out here being a whole ass motherfucker. Let look. Let the mud let let the let the swine play in the mud. Okay? Cause the next bitch that he dealing with, she gonna have to deal with the same thing. This motherfucker always online, fucking bitch after bitch after bitch, being in and out, looking online, trying to find new booty. You want this to be the, the burden that you're going to be carrying for the rest of your life? No. Forgive this person and move on and stop dragging your life down by this thing. You are not letting go. You have to let go. This is what your future is. This is what your future is. Celebrating going out having a good ass time this motherfucker summer with your girlfriends, with Belinda. Y'all going to be traveling. Y'all going to be doing a whole bunch of shit. But like I told you, your friend said, if you're going to be sitting up there focusing on this bullshit in the past, you, we're not inviting you. Because we're not, we're not going to sit there and help you with that shit. We're not working on this shit with you no more. You need to come to terms with this shit and forgive this person and let it go. Forgiveness. So that's what this reading is about. It's forgiveness, y'all. I know that you're bored, but you got to let it go. Purple, violet. Violet is the crown chakra. Understanding. It helps your crown chakra. It helps you deal with healing of personal losses and grief. You got to work past this. Because you think ain't nobody hiring. They are hiring. But look at how you looking. Why would someone hire you looking like that? You look. Come on now. Anyway, all right, Libra. Get it together. Because I surely hold, hold you at high honor. And I surely be trying to give you with something every motherfucking month. All right? Continue painting this new vision that you are dreaming of. Continue to do that. Don't let nobody, don't let no old thoughts and no fuck shit steal away your joy. You are the main female. Your expectation, everything that you have been expect, expecting has been coming to you. Once you know that you're the main female and stop thinking about dumb shit, you will be gifted with everything that you want. Once you really let this shit be buried and be done and stop mourning over, you know, something that's dead and gone. Libra, I love you. Forgive. All right, peace.